guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Serial at Midnight Spotlight video. This is kind of an update, a collection hack update. If you saw my video from about nine months ago, I called it a huge collection hack. And I was basically talking about how I've decided to move a lot of my collection into sleeves. And it was triggering for a certain part of the audience, but another part of the audience was like, oh my gosh, this works, this clicks. And I wanted to do a follow-up, not just because I am now nine months later. One of the criticisms for that video is people were like, yeah, talk to us in a year. Well, I'm nine months into it and I've done over a thousand uh, movies. I started out doing DVD only. I just wanted to do DVDs at the beginning. And then I really, here's like a, an example. You take a, a DVD case. This is what you're, it's everything. You're keeping everything except for the bulky plastic. You're keeping the paper, you know, the paper insert, the, the art wrap, you're keeping the disc. At the time of that video, I was not putting the discs in uh, any sort of protection. I have started to do that. I now sleeve every disc before I put it into the uh, this, this sleeve. But the company, there was one company that stood head and shoulders above everybody else, and that's Terrafold. They are out of Denmark. And uh, some of the other companies that make these sleeves, the sleeves are, are sized so narrow that you have to fold the movie along the spine. You have to fold the spine in half. That's a no-no for collectors because we want to preserve this as best as we can. So obviously you don't have to fold anything. You fold this on the seam that it already exists on, right? You're not creating a new fold. You're going with the folds that are already there. Also, as you can, just as you can see, this is a really high gauge uh, sort of material and it's got a matte finish and like when you hold it it doesn't want to fall I love it that's the bottom line is that I love it and I have decided to do my blu-rays the same way as you can see this is just for fun <laughs> the sleeves are falling over uh, just for fun here are uh, five blu-rays in sleeves and I've got five cases here just so you can sort of see how much room you're saving uh, and there are lots of storage options for this. There's lots of different things you can do. I've been buying these totes. I showed them in that video, uh, sort of plastic totes that you can put. I, I think I have like 280 movies in one tote. Uh, but here's the thing. Terrafold saw my video. I connected with them. They said, can we send you over some products? You talk about them on your channel. I was like, well, that sounds great. Cause I'm already doing all this stuff. So to be clear, I have not been paid for this. This is not a sponsorship or anything like that. They sent some, uh, some of their storage options over and we're going to talk about them here because I want you to know what it is that I'm doing and what I'm doing it with so you can make the best decision for yourself. So this is going to cover DVDs, Blu-rays, CDs, and even multi-disc sets. Uh, this is where I started. I started with these Terrafold DVD sleeves. They come in a pack of 100 we were just looking at them. This is the DVD sleeves. They're great. And you get a hundred for, um, I think 25 bucks is roughly what you're paying for them. And for me, again, for any there, because there has been pushback on this because I, I mean, I, I am a collector, but my collection was overtaking my lifestyle. I had media in every room of my house, except for the bathroom. And uh, I just didn't want to compromise and part with it. And this felt like a smart solution. I've been waiting for a smart solution. This felt like it. So that I have more room on my shelves for things like imprint titles and box sets and Jalo and things like that. Things that you really do want to display that I don't need, you know, like, I mean, this is great. These movies are great, but they're not necessarily display friendly. So this way... I can alphabetize them. I can throw them in all these different uh, storage solutions. So that's the DVD. Here's the DVD sleeve. Uh, the Blu-ray sleeves come in a pack of 50 for about the same price. And uh, here, I'm going to hold this up and flip this around so you can read everything. And this is what you're looking for. Now, when I talked about this nine months ago for the first time, uh, I linked to Amazon for this. And it was kind of a double-edged sword because... We have been selling out Amazon on these now for the nine months that I've been talking about them. They can't keep them in stock. And it's Serial at Midnight. Now, it's not going to all be Serial at Midnight. Most of it is Serial at Midnight because I know myself, I've bought over a thousand sleeves, right? And uh, I know from you guys, I've heard from multiple people who said, oh, I've been buying them every time they come back in stock. So they're hard to find on Amazon. The best thing you can do is order directly from 
the company is Terrafold. I'm going to put links in the description of this video. Uh, but you do, I think you, this is actually a little bit cheaper that way to order directly from the company. And you can order them batch, bulk batches. Right now, I think they're, they don't have any more Blu-ray sleeves in stock. They have to make more. We've sold them out so much they have to make more. This is the Blu-ray sleeve. You put the Blu-ray in, you fold the flap. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? Here, I'll show you. Well, you saw me. You, you saw me with, do it with the DVD. Like, I, I, it's simple. There are other options that I have not yet explored, but that they have sent me that I'm curious about. For Like, this is a two-disc sleeve for DVDs, right? And it's got this... It's got this padded divider here, so you can put a disc on one side here. You can put another disc on another side, and you've got this cloth uh, sort of bed <laughs> that's going to protect the discs and keep it from getting uh, damaged. Fold over flap. You just t I just tuck them in. That, you, you could tape them if you, I've seen some people tape them. I just fold them over. And this has holes. Where you're like, well, what's the holes? What are those for? It's for these storage binders. And you see, I've already got a CD sleeve in here. We're gonna talk about those in just a second, but uh, these fit in here as well. All the binders have the same, um, the same hole size spacing. So these binders are good for whatever purpose you wanna use them for. Um, I'm not using binders for any of my stuff yet because I like, I like being able to just whip them around. Like it's just browse, right? And I'm a record guy, so I'm constantly just flipping through my stuff. Uh, they also have these, which are these, um, what do they call? Here's their comfort sleeves with felt. This is a pack of a hundred and, uh, you can see what we've got here. So it's a, it's a pocket with again, felt on one side and felt on another side. So you can get two discs in here that goes well with, uh, their, Multi-disc, what are they calling these? See, these are the quadruple DVD pockets. So you only get 10 of these in a pack. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm not sure about these because I, I took one of my multi-disc, this is a four disc set, this is my Mr. Bean collection. It's not really saving a lot of room versus the DVD case that it was in. I do like how it's stored. So you've got a pocket here, there's actually there's actually a couple of pockets here. There's a pocket here that you could put a disc in. And then there's another pot here. I'm going to pop this out really quick. This is so one disc here, one disc here, right? I've got my art <laughs> inserted down in here, but there, and you're not even going to be able to see this, but there's, cause it's transparent, but there's a pocket here. And the behind that is another pocket. So theoretically I could get four discs on each side. You could get eight discs in here if you wanted to using this, uh, storage method. What I don't know if I like about this is that there is no flap up here to fold over and keep the air or moisture or dust or whatever out. You're kind of, and, but again, it's not bad. It's really not bad. So this is, well, I should put the disc back in here. So we're having a, a very clear look at how this is going to look when I've got them all stacked together. That's, that's it. I mean, that's, Anyway, I'm just, I'm not sure. I've been putting my multi-discs in the single sleeves, usually no more than two or three, because then you're not really saving it. Once you get to a certain disc amount, you're not really saving any, saving any space. But uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure that I'm ready to cross that bridge yet. Then they have two different CD options. They have the, uh, the, the CD sleeves with the binder holes that we just looked at in, inside the binder. And they have them without binder holes, which I think is my preference. I, I don't know how I feel about the binders. I like crates. So I, the record collector in me connects more with the idea of crating things. And if you want to see what this looks like in action, I'll show you because I'm using it. So here's uh, here's the Ramones greatest hits. And you see it's saving, I mean, it's saving a lot of, now CD cases aren't super thick to begin with, but you are saving room. And there's jewel cases get cracked and stuff like that. If you're wondering how this works, uh, there's the insert. I do have the disc and a protective sleeve. Basically, you pop the, the case apart. You take this part out. You fold the flaps down, the side flaps. And that's it. And then I slide the disc in. And then I slide the 
sleeve or the, the insert in the you know the booklet that's got the cover art and everything like that and everything is intact i have everything that came with the release that's what i love about this system you keep everything except for this you keep everything except for the bulky plastic so uh that's what they sent over and again i'm going to put links in the description to where you can order directly from terra uh from terrafold i'll also do amazon links because this stuff does come and go out of stock uh, again i'm not trying to convert anybody i'm not trying to proselytize to anybody i just know that for a lot of us who have bigger collections and who've been doing this guys i've been buying my media for over 30 years i've been buying my movies for over and cds and everything for over 30 years uh, I'm out of room and this is a great solution that allows me to keep everything but to cut the clutter and I've got a stack of these by my TV it's just sitting up where I got a bookcase it's not a it's a media shelf by my television and I've just got a stack of media there and I just can just flip, flip through it and I'm like what do I want to watch tonight and it really works for me I mean inserts fit in these you know the the booklets that come with these fit in these any ads fit in these whatever was in the blu-ray case or the DVD case fits in these sleeves. The only problem I have had, and I'm going to address this, the only problem I have ha I've had is with Warner snapper cases, which do not, the, the Warner Brothers DVD snapper cases with the black snaps on them, those do not fit in these sleeves. I have not found a solution. I think the answer is to cut, to cut right along the, the seam on that. And I know people are going to be like, no, I am not telling you to do it. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I... I want to keep those releases and everything will be there. It just won't be mint in package. And I know for collectors, that's mind boggling, but it will allow me to preserve my collection for a longer period of time and have more access to it and more control over it and to more freely alphabetize things. I think that's what I'm going to do. So uh, what do you think about it? We can continue the conversation in the comments below. I do want to thank Terrafold. They've been really nice and answered any questions that I have and been very responsive. And I've heard from some of the people who have bought from them, by the way, some of, uh, some of the Serial Night's Patreon supporters sent me some sleeves and I want to thank them so much. They got them, a lot of them got them directly from Terrafold and they sent me some of the email correspondence they'd had with the company. And it was like, not even knowing that I was going to see it. And it was super nice. It was so friendly. And they were really helpful. So for me, this is the solution for my collection. Uh, high quality sleeves, high quality materials. Uh, the only problem is they can't make them fast enough for us. And I guess that's a good problem to have. So thanks to Terrafold. Thanks to you guys. Uh, let's take charge of our collection. It's our collection. Let's take charge of it. Make it work for us, not the other way around. I appreciate you guys. Take care. Until next time, I will catch you later.